What's up? What's up? What's up, everybody out there? How y'all doing? How is it going? I hope it's going well. Well, September the first. I wish everybody out there the best. The best on your channel. The best in your life. Or whatever situation you may be going through, I wish you the best. Okay? So, anyway, I have a story I want to talk about. You know, I got something I want to say. And it pertaining what's going on in my, you know, not in my circle, my space or whatever. Just, I don't know how to put it. Something just going on right now. With this young lady that I work with. Um, she's young she's a young lady and she has I think like three kids four or something like that somewhere in there and I think they're all boys but her first child he's doing well he's doing okay you know she speaks very highly of him she speaks very highly of all her kids, okay? I need a cup of coffee, some tea, and I think I'm going to drink some tea. Go make me a cup of tea in a second. So, anywho, um, her second child's 14, giving her some problems. He have, um, how can I put it? He have picked up some bad habits from her ex-husband. That's not the father of none of the kids. She have no children by her ex-husband. She just got a divorce. It was finalized Monday, okay? So, anywho, her 14-year-old son went into another apartment complex. And I'm going to tell you what he went in there. He stole. Before I tell you what he went in there and stole, let me get, you know, go back to what's going on with her. Her stole, she lives in an apartment complex, and her stove broken on her. So, therefore, you know, she didn't have no stove to cook on. Now... I don't know that she get in contact with the landlord or not. Um, I really don't know about that part, okay? So anyway, her son goes, the 14-year-old goes into another apartment complex and, you know, stole another stove to put in the house where they, the apartment they're living in so his mom can cook, okay? Now... Let me say this here. I think he did. He did. He did what he did. It was wrong what he did, but also he did it so his mother can cook dinner. Now I don't know if this girl told her son to go into this apartment complex. Yeah, I don't know. And get this stove. She said he did it when she was working night shift. She do work night shift at one place that I I used to work at. So. Ooh, I'm over here yawning, y'all. Trying to get this video out. So she was working night shift, and he went and got the stove. I don't know why. At the age of 14, he's not in the house getting ready for school. Don't know. But he's out of control. Like, I'm going to say that again, okay? This thing said, find a face. So anyway, y'all. She said that someone camera caught the scene it was on camera mm, mm, mm. so anyway I guess somebody called the cops uh, the lady some lady called the cop y'all I'm going to put it like that cop was involved with it okay but the lady that owns the apartment was impressing charges against her okay she wasn't pressing any charges. She was like, mm, it's okay. The stove is back in its place. You get what I'm saying? So, oh, this is going to sound kind of crazy. But the police department did not take any action. The sheriff department took the action. Can y'all explain that to me? Help me out on that part. How is it that the sheriff department can can take action but the police the, the police department was called but i think the sheriff popped up i don't know how it happened but the sheriff ended up popping up 
and they knocked on her door and told her, hey, you know, this, that, and the third with your son, they explained to her, you know, and she wasn't aware what was going on. Like I said, she said she wasn't aware what was going on, okay? I don't know. I don't know. Wasn't there. But, hey, I'm going to tell you the story because it was brought to me. So, anywho, y'all, I'm trying to get up and get straight in my bed. So, y'all, it was just like, she was crying. She came to work crying because um, her and I worked together that particular day with two different clients. And she came in there crying because she was very, very emotional and very, very upset. And she was mad with her son, which she can't do nothing with. And then sometimes it be like that. Sometimes, you know, you have that child that, hey, just out there. Oh, excuse me, that's out there. And you can't, you can't do nothing with them. So... Anyway, she kind of got a little attitude with the sheriff guy, the sheriff department guy. And I guess, you know, by her getting funky with him, you know, talking out the side of her neck, you know, uh, kind of ticked him off. So he was like, hey, I'm just going to come back with a warrant. But maybe if she would not have talked to him any kind of way at the side of her neck, you know, said some disrespectful, like, oh, do what you got to do or whatever, whatnot. Okay, he took it in consideration and said, hey, okay, I'm going to do what I got to do. And he did. He went and had a warrant served for her, came back to her house uh, with the warrant, but she wasn't there. She was at work, but they do know what kind of car she um, do drive because when he came the first time, he checked out the car, and y'all already know, he already observed, observed, everything that need to be observed right so anywho he came back with the warrant she left and went to work her boyfriend was there and it just like hey okay now nah. they watching her they are watching her i'm like wow girl my goodness really she's like yeah she said girl i'm scared i don't know what to do i said well go turn yourself in that's it and that's all but guess what her 14-year-old son, the one who went in there stole the stove, and he took his little brother with him to help him. So, she called to see what the warrant was going to be about. They said, well, you was charged with two, with a one burglary, burglar, breaking and enter. You're going to be charged with that because of her 14-year-old son went in that house, okay? Not only that, hold on a second, let me... So can I brighten up my phone? So okay, that's better. And and, and she been charged with one burglar. Okay, not only that to be charged with two accounts because they are minors. They charge her with three things. Three, because the one was fourteen, and the other one I guess. Uh, yeah, excuse me. The other one, I guess, nine or ten, maybe eleven. They charge her with both of them breaking in that apartment. So she had three charges on her. Now, let me say this here to y'all, okay, as well, y'all. She also just got her record clean, sponged off. It took a year for it to get sponged out. Some stuff happened with her husband. And now it's sponged off. She just got it off last month. Just to come back and get some more stuff added on. But she did call the job and talk with our supervisor. And she said that, hey, it probably with a misdemeanor or something like that. Misdemeanor or whatever, whatever, whatnot. And she won't lose her job over, over that. She's not going to lose her job. But also, they don't know she in jail. And I didn't call to tell because it ain't my place and it ain't my business, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all feel where I'm coming from? I'm not going to do that. No. If she would have asked me, can you call our supervisor and let her know I'm locked up, then I would have called. But she didn't ask me to do it, so I'm not going to do it. Okay? But at least she said she turned herself in. Which I know that's a lie. Because I know her. I don't know her know her like that. But you can. Let me say this. You can analyze somebody. 
you can study somebody you can watch them and you'll know they do's and they don't what they will and will not do i guess a little bit i'm just saying but the type of female that she is she's hood ghetto and gutter she didn't go and turn herself in and I'm going to tell you why she didn't turn the stuff in. Because she already said, uh-uh, baby, they're going to have to catch me. And I'm going to tell you how they, how they caught her. And I'm going to get ready to get out of here. I ain't going to stay on here long. Let me tell you how they caught that ass. She went to this car lot and bought a new car. And remind you, she didn't have a tag on there. She had a drive-out tag, right, what they put on there when you purchase a car. And she went and got her insurance, right? Okay, they you know by being a new I mean uh, a car with a tag on it, they're gonna stop you just to pick at you, just to see if you got warrants and stuff on you. You get what I'm saying? And show sure no, that's what happened. They just randomly stopped her, pulled up beside the car. Got her name and all her little information. Y'all know the little information that they get. Got all that. Found out she got a warrant. I don't know who came to get her vehicle. You know her vehicle. Y'all excuse me. I don't know who came to get her vehicle. Okay. Now. Like I said, I don't know if she's still locked up. I had my phone turned off all day long. I didn't turn it on to about 6 or 7 o'clock because I slept all day Saturday. Your girl was asleep. I worked that night and slept off and on at work and went to the football game. Y'all seen that clipping, um, you know, the football game, the boys on um, warming up. And I was like, I don't have to get up and go to work Saturday. I want to shoot to Florida and go and grab some of my things. But I'm like, I'm just too sleepy. And then plus then my money looking funny. So I'm in chill mode. It ain't like I had to go down there and grab something. I just wanted to go and grab something. So anyway, I slept in today and I'm still sleeping. I'm about to go to sleep. As y'all can see in my avatar, I'm over here yawning. So anyway, y'all, let's get back to the story. Let me say this here. I'm, I'm going to be finished. Make sure y'all subscribe to my channel. Thumb up the video. And drop your comments. Okay. So. This lady that she had met. About a month or two ago. Some spiritual young lady. And stuff like that. Um, she asked me to give her a call. And I did call her last night for her. And I. You know. She was like. Um, Can you answer? Have she found anybody. Like her friend or something. Somebody's supposed to be getting her out. So I called and I said, well, um, I introduced myself to her and give her a reminder who I am, that she, who she met, you know, at the house. Because the girl brought her to the house. You don't supposed to bring nobody to these people's house. But, hey, these people do what they want to do at that job. And I just don't say anything. I'm going to talk about that as well in my next video. So anyway, she was like, um, I'm assuming she was sleeping. She was like, hello. And I said, hey, such, 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 this is Burnett, the young lady that you met at the house with the other person, you know, with the girl that brought you over. She was like, uh, who? And I explained to her again who I am. I said, well, anyway, I'm just calling because she asked me to call you to see that you ever handled that for her, far as, get, you know, so she can get out of jail. She was like, oh, no, uh, I, 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 I didn't handle it. Uh, this what happened, but she said she couldn't do it. But you said you didn't handle it, so anyway, I left that alone. I said, Oh, okay, then she said, Like, she trying to brush me off, get me off the phone. No, baby, I'm trying to get you off the phone because I'm at a football game trying to enjoy myself. I said, Oh, okay, all right, bye, to, you know, bye. And I clicked, I hung up in her face, and it is what it is. You get what I'm saying? So, like I said, my phone been off all day, and I don't know if she called and um, to see. But I was trying to get my sleep, y'all. I was trying to get my sleep. And I got it. And I'm going to get some more of it. Because I'm going to try my best to go to church. And in the morning, I want to get up. I did a Walmart order. And I need to go pick it up between 7 and 8. And uh, kind of get my food going. Start on my cabbage. I'm having cabbage and a little thing of rice. And um, 
In fact, I got some black eyed peas. I'm going to have some black eyed peas. But anyway, I'm doing my cabbage and my cornbread and some devil eggs and some rice. So me and my baby can have a meal for tomorrow and for Monday. Because the children out of school, I think Monday and Tuesday. So I have to cook. Well, I don't have to go to work Monday and Tuesday. What I'm thinking about. So she okay. But I am going to cook Sunday dinner for her and myself. We're going to have a little Sunday dinner with some good old tea. So anyway, y'all, I'm going to get ready to get out of here. That's it and that's all. I just hope that the young lady got out of um, jail and she can be able to deal with the situation on hand, what's going on. I even gave her some pointers about what she need to do with that boy. But um, it's her child. She has to deal with it, not me. Uh, I'm going to say this here, that I will be praying for her. I will be praying for myself and you as well, you know. And... These kids, it's like sponge. They see what's going on with other peers and, and adults, and they pick it up, and they just run with it. They just go with the flow of it. You got some kids out here are the best. They don't get in trouble. They go to school. They go to work. They go to college. They go in the military. You know, and it's still, you know, whether they was been raised by, um, great parents or you know grandparents aunts and uncles or family members or neighbors or whatever and they still turn out wrong you got some turn out right it is what it is right you just hope the best for these children um i thank god that uh i'm so blessed to know god is good he got his hands on my grandkids that they don't get in trouble i did have one he just just did things just to be doing it. Like I say, he picked up things from peers when he was going to school because he wasn't raised like that. And he just did unnecessary thing that wasn't even called for. Because if he wanted something, he knew um, that his mother, or um, myself, or my mom would have bought it for him. You know, he didn't want for anything, y'all. Because me... My mom and my daughter, we stand ten toes down when it came to him because he the oldest, you know, he the firstborn. So it wasn't anything that he didn't need or want. He got well, from food to clothes to basically getting catered to. Um, my mom used to wash his clothes. She made, she, she cooked and he ate. I mean, his mama, whatever. But it's the life that he chose for, his, for himself. I just seen him yesterday. I'm so happy to see him because that's my baby, my firstborn. And I love him so much. And I go to hell and back for him. But I'm just disappointed in the choices that he made in his life. And we try so hard to keep him on the right pathway of, you know, being successful, having a good career, you know. So he's 22, 23, somewhere in there, y'all. And he had got so chubby. I was so happy to see him yesterday. I, I walked up to him and gave him a hug. He gave me a hug because he loved me so, so much. He loved his mother so, so much, you know. But anyway, it breaks my heart to know that he didn't finish school. but And he has his own children as well. And I just want him to be a great father to his boys. I want him to be active in his boys' life. But he's not due to... You know, the baby mama and stuff, y'all. So, it's a lot going on with that as well. I'm going to talk about it also. So, anyway, I'm going to get ready to get out of here, y'all. And let's just keep praying for one another. Whether we like each other or not. Whether we we'll probably will never get a chance to meet each other. But, hey. Let's just pray for one another. Let's just pray. You don't like somebody, somebody don't like you. You know, let's still be obedient to God's words and his command to love one another. Let's not drop the ball on that if we don't do anything else. I'm going to get ready to get out of here. I want to say live, love, laugh, laugh, love, love, peace, love, and happiness to you, 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 and you and your family. And y'all have a wonderful, wonderful first of the month, September the 1st on a Sunday. If you didn't go to church, I hope that you did do a virtual, you know, on the TV. Get you some church in, pay your tithes and stuff, you know, because I'm about to get ready to pay mine. So when I go to church in the morning, good night, y'all.
Y'all have a good one. Peace.